So, Final Fantasy VII came out for the Nintendo Switch, and, well, I'm going to give my first impressions of this one. It's been out for a little bit now, and I've had a bit of time to play. Uh, these aren't going to be my first impressions of Final Fantasy VII, because, good gravy, I've... I've had Final Fantasy VII forever. I believe it was probably the first RPG I picked up for the PlayStation back in the day after I got it. Let's see, I remember thinking, God, $49.99 is an awful lot for a video game. At the time, boy, has my opinion changed since then. So, Final Fantasy VII for the Nintendo Switch. Well, it runs like Final Fantasy VII. I did have one freeze in a particular grinding spot before this particular reactor that I'm at here in the video. <clears throat> Which is why I've been grinding for levels at the save point here. See if I remember how to do things here. So yeah, it. I've only played it in handheld mode until this particular point. The analog controls are a much, much welcome addition. There's no holding down the B button to run or A button to run, whichever the case may be. The load time seems smooth as butter. Basically all the settings work as expected. Identical to the Steam version at least. The active time battle is still a thing. Limit breaks are still here. Of course, if you're wanting to know whether you want to buy Final Fantasy VII, if you haven't played Final Fantasy VII, then go ahead and get it. It is scaled for older resolutions, as you can tell from the video here with the black bars on either side. But it's not that distracting when playing. So in handheld mode, it runs swimmingly. In docked mode, as you can see, it's also running swimmingly. Music's great. Music's always been great in Final Fantasy VII. Gameplay's good. It's a classic JRPG with tons of customization. Great characters and all that jazz. All that jazz. I don't really know what else to say about it. It was my second Final Fantasy after Final Fantasy VI, which was three for the uh, SNES. Like, after playing that, I remember going specifically to the game store, seeing this gem on the rack and being like, I don't think I'm going to get that. And then being just blown away by the amount of stuff. It's just the depth of the game, the scope of what was to come. You know, three discs at the time, when I was used to one disc, or just a cartridge. Like, yeah, this was a hell of a game. You know, there's a lot of people who say it's overrated, and at this point in time, yeah, it probably is overrated, but it's still a damn good game. You don't go into it expecting the greatest thing of all time ever. That's... That is something. The sprites are updated. Even the polygonal sprites here, you can tell they're... They've been sharpened. The save point has been sharpened. The background images could have been upscaled, but I remember they were having some issues with that at some point in time. I'm wondering if there wasn't a stealth update at some point in time, because holding the button didn't work for just attacking prior. And like I said, there was the freeze issue that I encountered. I'm not sure if anyone else has encountered it either. Well, that's interesting. Did not know hitting the analog stick would advance things as I sit here yammering like a derp. But, uh, yeah. It's the same Final Fantasy that we've come to love, really. 
course, speaking of Final Fantasy, if you'd like to see me stream Final Fantasy XIV... Oop, I have accidentally the boss. If you want to see me stream Final Fantasy XIV, I will be doing so on Twitch from time to time. Playing through the story mode as just Jiggle Physics, because why not? And of course, if you like the videos, you can like, subscribe, do all those things, tell a friend. I'm afraid this one hasn't been much, like... It's Final Fantasy VII. Runs great in hand. Runs fantastic in handheld. Runs great docked. I would say, if you're on the fence about this, it's only 15 bucks. Which might sound a bit bleh, but... It is only $15. It was originally 50 way back in the day. And if you haven't played it, I highly recommend it before they fuck up the remake. That's all I'm going to do. You know what's going to happen. It's inevitable. They're going to fuck up the remake, so... This will probably be your definitive version. If you have a Switch, I don't see any reason not to get it. Unless you don't have space on your whatever storage solution you're using. Kind of like me at the moment, now that I think about it. I could use some more storage. Anywho, that's all for this one. Uh, we will be streaming something on Twitch tonight, probably. That's twitch.tv slash NAKTS7. We'll leave a link in the description, as usual. And I shall see you then, I suppose. Final Fantasy VII. Go ahead and get it. I recommend it. It's a good game. And that is all for this video. Whoosh.